The Laser Summer School Academy combines a comprehensive program of professional development for teachers with an intensive curriculum of science and language development for English language learners. The program also serves as a laboratory for educational research on effective teaching strategies. Funded by the National Science Foundation, LASERS stands for Language Acquisition in Science Education for Rural Schools and is a collaborative effort of the University of California at Santa Cruz, Life Lab, and seven school districts on California's Central Coast. More than 1,500 teachers and 30,000 students have benefited from various laser program activities. What's happening outside the can? It's melting. It's changing into water. In 1998, Laser Summer School Academy came to Ohlone Elementary School in the Pajaro Valley Unified School District. The Academy's main components included an intensive kindergarten through fifth grade classroom experience focused on science instruction and language development. Every morning for five weeks, 400 kindergarten through fifth grade students received instruction from 8 a.m. till 12.30, followed by professional development for the teachers based on their mornings in the classroom and life lab garden. These activities included peer coaching and action research teams at each grade level. A community of learners was developed that included college students, teachers, staff developers, and parents. And finally, a collaborative research project was undertaken to evaluate student outcomes. Seats in water and... The professional development activities involve teachers in analyzing their classroom practice. Before observing a lesson, the peer coach has a pre-conference with the teacher. And what do you anticipate doing with your science class today while I'm well, observing? Today I'm going to try, remember we talked about scientific inquiry? Mm -hmm. And how sometimes um, the primary grades have a hard time getting the question to come from the children, you know, the plan to come from the children. So I'm going to try it today. Providing one peer coach for every two teachers in the academy enables every teacher to receive in-depth feedback and guidance. In a pre-conference, the teacher discusses their lesson strategies and objectives and selects a specific area for the coach to focus on. So the concept you're getting that you want them to get is scientists ask questions and design experiments. Mm -hmm. ¿Y por qué voy a leer de una semilla? ¿Alguien sabe? ¿Por qué quiero yo leer de una semilla? Mija. ¿Por qué? Porque andamos estudiando desde planta. Entonces, ¿cuáles de ustedes han plantado algo y tuvieron que esperar y esperar y esperar hasta que creció? During the lesson, the coach observes, taking anecdotal notes as well as scripting parts of the lesson, actually writing down teacher and student comments. Mira, mira la semilla, mira el frijol. We have someone who will come in and watch a lesson, help us grow in the areas we want to grow, point out things that we never even knew that were happening in the classroom. It makes me feel more confident. It's been a wonderful opportunity being able to observe different teachers and watch how they teach their lessons, also to meet with them and to hear how they approach their job and to help them reflect. Oftentimes as teachers we have so much work to do and time is limited. That's one of the main reasons that I'm at this summer academy is we are, as part of our work day, we are paid for and given time to collaborate with teachers and talk with teachers and reflect on our teaching practices. I wonder if it would be helpful next time when I'm peer coaching you to sort of maybe even time how long you're waiting mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. kids respond to mm -hmm. see how much wait time mm -hmm. you're giving them. Mm -hmm. Good. Later that same day, the teacher and coach meet to review the classroom data and plan future instructional activities. So now I want to plant with um, seeds and beans that have been soaked first. All right. Right? And we'll go out to the garden because they love the garden. Look at this. Wow. Look at this! Oh, you guys are such scientists. Kids love science. Kids love to take things apart, put things back together. They always want to know why. And in the classroom, as well as outside in the garden, we get to do things just exactly that way. Can 
I've never seen this before. I remember when I was in school um, becoming a teacher, we used to say we should have the laboratory right there. We should be in the classroom practicing these theories that we're learning sitting in these classrooms. And here it is. We're cut talking about cause and effect. Action research teams are grade level groupings that include the teachers, their student teachers, coaches, and staff developers. These teams meet twice weekly to examine a variety of instructional and curricular issues. Each session includes a focused teacher who presents a lesson videotaped in their classroom, opening up their practice for analysis and discussion. How much accountability is there for the students? And I do try to get around to every group. I found that you having them make it personal. You're making the, the larger concept about what happens environmentally if you have pesticides, what happens to, to insects. We could refer back to our graphic organizer and we'll start listing some of the next steps that we could take from the closure from this lesson moving into future lessons. So we're going to do an activity that will show us how is it that the fish will get sick and or people will get sick or plants will get sick. Around this area, there's a lot of strawberries, a lot of strawberries. It's known all over the world. The insects really, really like them. So farmer is going to go around and spray them. This will definitely let me explore teaching science more. I am going to take it back into the classroom. I basically may do some of the same activities, experiments and um, try to grow from that. Through the Lasers Professional Development, we're engaging teachers in a learning cycle that starts with their classroom practice and then involves them in collaborative reflection through the peer coaching and action research teams. This collaboration then gets immediately applied to their trying new things in their classrooms. This engages teachers in taking risks that they wouldn't normally take and also allows them to be in charge of their professional development, choosing areas of focus where they see that they need to grow and an ongoing assessment based on, on what their students need. Creating a site for learning at many levels, the Lasers Academy has developed a community of learners. Our question is, when a snail is placed in captivity with a bean leaf, a broccoli leaf, and a zucchini leaf, which leaf would they prefer eating? But I'd be curious to know if they um, would eat these plants. The science that was a weak area coming out of college is towards like understanding it as a, myself personally, let alone trying to teach it to kids and making it accessible to kids. And here it's been a real nice avenue to learn how to get kids thinking about science and the world around them. I think a lot of times as teachers, we, we see, see lessons in a lesson book and we see it uh, written out and it looks good we haven't really tried it ourselves. And so when there are pitfalls, we wonder why. And for me, this is answering a lot of the questions, the whys and how to, to frame certain questions and basically what it takes to, to answer them for students. There was water in the air. And when it got on the cold mirror, that water vapor turned back into a little, you know, water. Tiny drop of water. You're right. Con. Con. Den. Den. Say. Say. Shut. Undergraduate college students interested in becoming teachers fully participated in the academy through MiniCore, a migrant education program. I'm not a teacher yet, but yet I get to sit down and plan the, the week-long curriculum in the classroom. So this is really valuable to me because it gives me ideas for when I become a teacher and I want to give my students a lot of science work, so it gives me a lot of ideas and ways of teaching and bringing science into the classroom. The promising practices of the Lasers Academy attracted other staff developers, including officials of the California Science Project, who conducted observations and met with teachers and researchers. Lasers helps us really think through some of the big issues for us as a staff development project. 
And that's the issue of children whose primary language is not English and giving them access to core curriculum and also focusing on practice that's effective. And so they've been able to conceptualize how to put things together in a model that's tight with respect to teacher's role, the role of students, the role of student work. Family Science Night is an important and exciting part of the academy. Students demonstrate and explain their science work to their parents. They come out like that big. <laughs> Developing case studies, university researchers utilize teacher interviews, video documentation, and student assessments to correlate teaching strategies with student learning outcomes. The Summer Academy promotes a new approach to staff development that focuses on helping teachers analyze their own instructional practice. The research program is an integral part of this process. Researchers and teachers work together to look inside classrooms and figure out which instructional practices are most effective in promoting student learning. We also do rigorous pre and post assessment of student learning. Our results show that students in classrooms where teachers use inquiry approaches to science teaching grow an average of two to four months in language development over the four week period and they also show significant improvements in science understanding. This summer school has been such a valuable experience for me because it's really boosted my confidence in the areas of ELD and science instruction and I'm very excited as a lasers resource teacher to take back the information that I've learned to implement both of these curriculums in my classroom. Now I feel very confident in combining the two, really getting into the garden, doing these things with my students and really being a role model to other teachers in my school so they can see what effective science instruction is and how they can combine the science with the ELD. The Laser Summer Academy has developed a comprehensive model to support teachers. By combining professional development and classroom instruction on a daily basis, teachers have the opportunity to collaborate, reflect, and enhance their teaching practice. Emphasizing language development and science instruction is helping prepare California's diverse student population to be the scientists of the 21st century. I'm very excited about the impact that Lasers is having on students and staff and I really think that what's making it special is the fact that you're bringing so many groups together and so many groups learning about different aspects of science and language development. And most of all, it's the impact on students.